The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Hello everyone and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In case you have forgotten, <laughs> my name is Sparallelogram. And at last, we are back. Feels great to record again. I already made the update video, so I'm not really going to talk much about that. Anyway, we're just going to focus on the game. And how good it looks now that I have a capture card that isn't complete garbage. It's pretty great. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Okay, that is literally the least inconspicuous statue I have ever seen. Yeah, let me just make a giant statue of myself and fire weapons from it. That'll that'll show them. Now, I didn't know this for years because I'm a moron, but you can destroy the little snowballs with those little monkey babies in it. That is a terrible parent right there. Just, I'm gonna fire my children at this complete stranger. And while we're here, I just want to note that I always loved this perspective. It looks pretty great. And it's just, I don't know, I've probably talked about it before, but it's been so long, but I just love how all the levels are connected. Like in a giant fucking loop. Some levels you can see the beginning Blah, blah, blah. The end from the beginning. Words. Icicles. Very perilous. I, I think that's in the name of the level. Anyway, the perilous ascent. Is that what it's called? But seriously, these monkeys are really easy to dodge. It's like almost painfully easy playing this game nowadays. Now watch me fuck up really bad now that I've said that. Anyway, anybody in the mood for seizure fireworks? Aw, oh, yeah. I don't know, I just... I think it's neat that they leave those little things lying around. For you to hit and get one coin. It's pretty great. Now, it's been so long that, oh, we've probably forgotten what we got last time. Unless you're watching this in a playlist, in which case, why are you watching this in a playlist? The jumping quality must be startling the shit out of you. Just hold down the circle button and we are hiding behind a statue. Oh my god. No, we turn invisible now. Can't do much with it right now, but nothing can see us. Not searchlights, not guards. And that is great. One second to switch back to fast. Doesn't do much for the gameplay, but it does do a lot for saving real time. Whoop. I'm 
not getting caught by one of these morons. They're little quiet, confused noises. Oh, I could have sworn I saw somebody here, because uh, one is not. And now they're dead. Gotta love how those fireworks are somehow target seeking. Fantastic. Miracles of modern science. Their trajectory is so awkward and stiff. Oh my god. Anyway, there's our little safe for the level. And we still have one more area to go. And more monkeys to kill, because why not? Like, literally, I'm pretty sure all of the enemies in this world are monkeys, or apes, or whatever. And I gotta love that even if you make noise near these guys, they won't friggin' notice. Unless a guard blows the whistle. This is a lot of fucking monkeys. Shit! 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 Run! Shit! <laughs> well, I did say I would screw up, and I have. Hooray! Usually I can kill all of them without alerting the other ones. Looks like that's not gonna happen, because uh, despite my long absence, Let's Play Curse is still alive and well. And that's great. That's great. Giving me nostalgia for a time when I actually did things. By nostalgia, I mean why is this happening? Why? Why me? Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Oh, it's so bad. I don't know, but I like kind of how disorienting this little area is as far as all the trees look the same, and that guy did not notice until it was too late. And we have the key. Oh man, I missed that little animation. It's so good. I don't awkwardly find the rest of these clues without falling to our death. Hopefully, I have a feeling I've missed one somewhere. Very mysterious. Well, here we go again. Oh, there it is! Yay! Okay, not not quite so bad. Let's hurry our butt up and get over that safe. Fast forward is so great. To enter the vault code. Yes, yes, I know. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five seven eight. Uh, Bentley, I missed you. And by that I mean I didn't actually miss you. You're still really annoying. This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Hooray, something useful once more. Now, instead of sitting like a dumb thing, invisible on the ground doing nothing, we can move incredibly slowly. Now here's what I said about the fast button saving real time and not so much game time because you're not plodding along so much but you're still not making any headway. Still it's, it's useful for certain areas. Anyway, I guess that's already it for now. So, we're gonna gear up and head into the stronghold of the Panda King. I'm Feral Elgram, and I will see you guys then.